Here's the video you all wanted to see. The Harley Davidson Rogue Life Special versus the Indian Challenger Limited. These bikes are gonna go head to head today, hence why I'm wearing this hat. Who will be the king of the baggers today? say which bike is gonna take the crown today so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna break this video up we're gonna do a walk around of both bikes first and then we're gonna take them on the road give you guys that on-hand experience on both bikes letting you know what I like and what I don't like about each bike riding fundamentals technology brakes suspension power just and it's all gonna unfold right here now we often get the perception that Harley Davidson is always the most expensive product out there and it's out of the reach of the average Joe, and it's a lot more expensive than Indian products. And in, in this situation, no, it's not. Now, the special is gonna start at $27,999. Challenger is gonna start at $28,499. So, this bike off the bat, it's a little bit more expensive. Not too much, but it's more. And in my eyes, if you wanna compete, you need to compete with the price either at the same level or even just a little less. Now, what are you gonna get with all that money on each of these bikes? It's a lot. These bikes are expensive, yes. So if and when you are looking into buying any of these motorcycles, you really wanna sit down and take a look at what each bike has to unfold. What does this bike have to offer compared to this bike? Now let's talk about motors, displacements, and torque real quick. This bike right here is gonna come with the Harley Davidson Milwaukee 8 114 engine. The Indian Challenger is gonna come with a smaller displacement, but more torque. So this bike is gonna come with the Power Plus liquid cooled 108. 108 compared to the 114, but with that being said, you're gonna get a lot more torque on this bike. 128 foot pounds of torque compared to the 118 foot pounds of torque that the Harley Davidson is gonna offer you. So a lot more power on this bike. You definitely feel it when you're on the road. We'll talk about them when we get on the bikes in a few minutes. So when it comes to power, I gotta give it to the Indian Challenger. You're definitely gonna feel the power on there a lot more. Now, another important feature that this bike has better than this bike is the braking system. So you're gonna have a lot more bite on those brakes on the Indian Challenger right here. Believe it or not, suspension is also gonna be better on the Indian Challenger. The Indian Challenger is gonna come with Fox suspension from factory, uh, monoshock on it as well. Um, a lot better than the Harley Davidson Rogue Live. Now the Indian Challenger has better brakes, better suspension, more power. You must be saying to yourself, damn, all the boxes are being checked off for Indian. Um, we're gonna go into a few things now where Harley Davidson is gonna blow Indian out the water. So when it comes to fit and finish, there, there, there's just no comparison. Just the feel, the touch, of the product on the Indian uh, comes nowhere near to what Harley Davidson has to offer. Um, you're gonna get the premium on here. Everything looks and feels expensive. Everything feels good to the to the touch. Everything has a nice perfect click to it. Everything just comes together, mends together a lot nicer. Uh, the fitment is a lot nicer than what you're gonna find on the Indian Challenger. Another thing that I like a lot more on the Harley Davidson is that the infotainment system is a lot cleaner. It looks more premium. Now I know some of you guys are gonna say, well, it's just fitment and everything and this and that to the field. But when you're paying that much money for a bike, you wanna make sure that your expensive bagger is gonna feel like what it costs. So. Fitment and touch and finishes, Harley Davidson has it. Both bikes are gonna come with six gallon gas tanks. Both bikes being baggers, obviously gonna come with the bags in the back. Um, I like the Harley Davidson bags a bit better. I think it's, it's a cleaner look as well. Um, what, what I do like about the Indian is that Indian does give you a key fob with a lock on it, so you're able to lock those bags where in this option here, you're only gonna have that option with Harley if you buy a CBL, and that's a lot more money than what this special is gonna be. So, it just gives you a nice little option from factory at uh, the same, almost same level price point as this bike right here. Uh, but it's a nice little feature. I like the fact that you're able to walk away from your bike, lock your bags, boom. Yes, you are able to lock these bags, but you gotta do it with the key, old school, but whatever. Let's just talk about the looks department in general. Which bike is gonna look the best? Um, 
let's be honest here, guys. I, I'm yes, I am a Harley Davidson owner. I love Harley Davidson, but I also love what Indian has been doing for the past few years. I love the product that they've been coming out and giving out to the consumers. Um, so I'm, I'm a fan, I'm a huge fan of Indian, the brand. I, I love what they're doing. And when it comes to looks, you can say that, hey, you put both bikes side by side, they are some similarities. Some would even say, hey, Indian kind of copied Harley. Um, I'm not gonna say they copied them, because this is its own thing. It has its own identity. Um, what I will say is that you'll be dumb to think that Indian didn't take any notes from Harley in order to make this bike. This bike was literally made to compete with the Rogue Glide right here. That's the main reason why this bike was born. It wasn't just born out of thin air. Hey, we're gonna make this bagger now. It was born to compete with the Challenger. But yes, they did take some cues from its identity. So, looks department. Um, and I'm not even, I'm not gonna be biased. I, I gotta say it. When it comes to the looks department, this, this bike looks a lot better than this bike. It, it, it just does. Beautiful bike right here. I think it's an awesome design, but comparing it to this, this is just, the lines on this bike flow a lot nicer. Everything is well just put together, well thought out. On the Indian, there's a lot of like, the lines are kind of like all over the place. A lot of, it's boxy, it's round, it's straight in certain areas. It's like, it's just a lot. So when it comes to the design point of it, this bike has it from a mile or just it looks better so we spoke about the design we spoke about brakes suspension power let's just get on the road so i can give you guys an on-hand experience of what it feels like to be on each bike obviously this bike has a lot of different components that a stock bike would have because i've just done a bunch of stuff to this one so let's talk about performance real quick because on this bike Sounds nice, right? <laughs> I got the Chrome Works dual exhaust system on here. Sounds great. Um, I also have a Stage 2 Fueling 465 Reaper cam in this one. So, that's the reason why that bike sounds like that. The reason why this bike has a lot more power than what it did before um, from stock. So, I did mention before that the uh, Challenger does have. Uh, better suspension, right? Better braking. That's not to say that those components on here suck. They don't suck, but the ones on the Challenger are just better. Indian made a great product. But it's just something about being on this bike right here. The whole design of the fairing, the whole design of the bike, the culture behind Harley Davidson feeling a part of something that has been around for so long it's part of the culture and you won't understand until you've experienced the culture that's the thing about harley davidson that a lot of people just don't understand is that it's it's more than just a bike it's more than just a company it's just it's the culture around it and you really need to experience it now i know that i said some of the components on the indian challenger are way better but this bike I love riding this bike it feels great and then here here's like probably one of the most important things that Harley Davidson is gonna have over Indian and that's the aftermarket there's tons of parts that you can get for any Harley Davidson on the market tons of companies who make anything for it every little part you can think of they make for it tons of accessories and just everything anything you can think of so it, uh, the, the customizations on a Harley are endless, just endless. You're not gonna find that with Indian because not so many companies invest the time or money into making parts of those bikes. There's uh, a few, not that many. And for those of you who are like me, I like to make my bikes look a lot different. I love adding my own touch to them. I like to stand out. Now on this bike, I've only done the rear suspension. I have the Screaming Eagle and Ola suspension. I haven't done the front yet. So if anybody out there is listening and you want to work something out, let's talk about some front suspension for the bike. Lean angle right now feels good. Going into the corners, dipping in and out. The bike just, it feels great. 
I know that the Alien Challenger is going to fit a bit more, more easier to maneuver in those corners. But that's not to say that this bike sucks in the corners because it doesn't. Let's talk about comfort real quick. Now that we're just talking about suspension, um, stock seat on the Indian is going to be better than now. Right now on this bike, I currently have a La Paris seat, which I love. This La Paris seat is way better than the stock seat that Indian has to give you on the Challenger. But when it comes to stock seat to stock seat, Indian is, is going gonna, is gonna to take, take the win. Now, one thing I was talking about before was the infotainment system. So you can see here everything is like well displayed. There's everything right in front of you. Front of, uh, music. Same thing, navigation on here, music, Bluetooth. You're going to have that on both bikes. This screen just looks a lot better. Um, it looks more premium. Now this bike right here is going to come with the Harley Davidson RDRS system, uh, smart lean technology, uh, which Indian also offers on uh, on their bike. They call it smart lean, I believe. Uh, so it's like a similar similar package, riding enhancement um, helps you in the corners. Um, if your bike feels like it's gonna slip out or something it just kind of adjusts itself in a way um, so it's, it's pretty cool pretty handy um, I urge everyone to, to get it um, it's, it's safe my butt once or twice especially in the rain um, this bike is also gonna come with a rain mode uh, Indian is gonna come with three modes though uh, standard rain and sport this one is not gonna have the sport mode but you're, you do have the option just to put it on rain mode. This bike also has the hill assist, which is awesome. So there, there, there is a, a, a ton of tech that people don't seem to uh, see at times or they just overlook it. But this bike does come packing a lot of stuff. The uh, brake link system, um, which kind of helps you apply braking to the rear and the front. And it kind of balances out for you. So if you're you're grabbing maybe too much on the front or too much on the back and it's not leveled out it'll it, it'll adjust and it'll kind of level it out um so that's that's pretty cool the thing i'll tell you is that this bike is a joy to ride it's fun to ride one thing i'll also add on is that this bike runs a lot more cooler than the indian challenger even though that bike is a liquid cool bike it's gonna run a lot hotter so right now at this point I know damn well that bike would have been burning my leg in the back it, it just runs super super hot really hot this bike not so much not to say that this bike runs super cool because it also doesn't I mean you, you, you get some heat from it but the heat that you're gonna get coming off from the power plus engine on the Indian Challenger is gonna be a lot more than what you're gonna feel on here. All right, so now on the Indian Challenger. One thing I'll point out from the get, and no, it's not because my bike has some work done to it, but um, there's a little bit of like a lag when you pull the throttle on this bike. On the Harley Davidson, it's gonna be a lot more snappier. The power is gonna be instant right there. Um, so the, the throttle response on the Harley Davidson is gonna be better now yes comfort i know I, I spoke about it before the seat on here feels great for a stock seat huge fan of it um it, it's just uh, it just it makes you want to ride all day there's a few things i hear that i just point out right it just said uh, that i don't like i don't like all the plastic stuff on here so this is not actual chrome this is plastic so that that to me bothers me because what, when you're comparing both bikes a lot of money we're talking about a bagger this is twenty eight thousand dollars i don't want to see plastic on here and i know some of you might be like well that's such a little little thing to care about i little stuff like that i care about so plastic here plastic there the mirrors i don't like too much either i don't want the design of them and they are a little bit shaky uh this right here look i don't know what happened here but this is like velcro under there and it's like loose and it's plasticky i mean yes there's there is plastic on the harley davidson but it, it it looks good though it looks clean one thing that i will say is that i do like the setup on here though i love the gauges on top 
uh, where the screen's at down here in the bottom. Um, so the setup on here, I love. I, I, I really like the way it looks. Like I said before, it comes with uh, Fox suspension, uh, monoshock in the back as well. So it does absorb a lot when you're on the road. Um, it, it, it's way better, way, way better than the Harley Davidson suspension, man. This bike just soaks everything up on the road, kind of just floats on by, and it feels great. Also, the audio on here, it, it's a little bit louder than the Harley Davidson audio as well. Um, I'll, I'll say that. The infotainment system right here, it's, it's okay. I prefer the Harley Davidson. It's a lot cleaner. This, I don't know, just the screen, it just doesn't, it could look better. It, look, it could look more premium. This on here kind of just looks a little dated. Um, as far as all the information on here and the gauges, like you, you do have all your information on there as well. Um, no complaints on that on both ends. Uh, one thing that this bike is gonna have that the Harley doesn't is this adjustable screen right here. As you can see, goes all the way up. Now I know both of these fairings do block a lot of wind off of you, but this windshield being fully adjustable helps out a lot more. Uh, going into the corners, this bike does feel a bit lighter. Um, this bike feels lighter in general. So like, once again, going into the corner, you just you feel more comfortable on this bike, just leaning it over. Um, but the bike in general, even though they are heavy, they're both around the same weight. This bike, for some reason, feels lighter. It feels lighter to move around the garage when it's off. It feels lighter just to maneuver in town on slow speeds. So I, 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 don't, I don't know what it is or maybe the way everything is just mounted on but it, it feels lighter. That's one thing that people always point out is that for some reason the bike feels super light. Now I mentioned before when I was on the Harley, I was talking about the culture and it's, it's something that Indian doesn't have. I mean, yes, does Indian have its own culture? Yes, it does. It has its own cult following. Is it as big as Harley Davidson? No, nowhere near. Um, and I, I think that's one of the reasons why most riders lean towards more always getting a harley davidson over an indian because they they like that feeling having easy access to a dealership near you anywhere harley davidson has that as well there's a dealership almost everywhere where indian is a little tougher i mean around my area i have like three that are close to me you could say so i'm i'm fortunate enough to you know have that there, there are certain people where they, they might only have one or two within the state you know I have three that are like near me. Um, so having easy access to dealerships, that, that that's also a big plus. But what Harley Davidson has to offer with their culture, wide range base, it's just that it's, it's everything. People buy bikes most of the time. Why? Because they want to ride, yes. Others just, you know, they, they want to feel like they're part of something. And that's what Harley Davidson has to offer. It's just that, that feeling that you're a part of something now if india keeps working at it and they keep coming out with great products like this right here this is a great product they start you know building more different bikes and they start you know doing events and uh expanding their dealership network then um yeah i mean then then, then, then you're talking about some some competition right there because that's i think that's what the company's just missing there you know they, they need more bikes right uh, they need to offer a lot more different bikes, just like Harley Davidson does, um, in order to compete with them on a, on a, uh, on a big, big level. Um, I mean, Indian at one point ran the show right in the beginning when motorcycles first started coming out, and it, the, the, the show belonged to Indian. Indian was everything, and Indian was gobbling up all these little other companies and taking over everything, and and harley davidson was the underdog back then they were competing with indian you know they wanted to beat him at races they wanted to make their bikes look you know like theirs as well um indian went out of business in the 50s harley davidson kept rolling on and who knows if harley davidson would have gone as far as it's gone without all the military contracts that they had, all the police contracts that they had, uh, the, the, the derby cars, uh, deliver mail, uh, firemen used them, like it was for everything, you know? But I, if it wasn't for that, I don't think the company would have survived. Um, and they probably would have had something similar happen to them, like, you know, like happened to Indian. 
Um, but I think what happened to the Indians is that they just got lazy, to be honest. They got lazy. But now it's a different, uh, it's a different world. I feel like the company is being very innovating. Um, they're offering a lot, especially with this bike. Um, this bike beats my Road Glide when it comes to power, when it comes to comfort, when it comes to braking power. And in order for me to get the same amount of power on my bike, I had to do a stage two on my bike. This is from factory, you know? So it's, yes, they're, they're making great stuff right now. And they're definitely competing where they should be competing. Now, what I want to see from them is more bikes, more color options. I mean, two or three color options are, it's, it's not cool, you know? Um, just more options, um, better quality product, better better quality components, you know? Then, then then we're talking. When you have all those all those boxes checked off, then you're gonna have a lot of people wondering, well, which bike should I buy? Which uh, which which is the best bike for me? You know? We'll head back to the garage right now. We'll do a, our last walk around both bikes and um and I'll give you my choice. I'll give you my my decision of what bike. I would choose today all right so there you have them side by side just got off riding both of them um you guys let me know which one you like better for those of you who only like harley davidson and dislike indian i know it's going to be your choice and same thing for those of you guys who ride indians like indians and don't like harley davidson's i know what's going to be your choice but for those of you who are like me and you like both brands you like what both brands have to offer then let me know right now what you like about each of these bikes and what you don't like about them that's that's what i really want to know uh, i just want to show you guys real quick the um infotainment system here like just the way everything here is laid out um it, it just it's nicer i like the black layout in the back it's very sleek um and this one is just more I don't know. It's it's nice, but I I, I think the the Harley Davidson just looks a lot sleeker. Just walking around this bike as well. Um, just everything around it. Um, one thing as well that Harley Davidson is gonna have over the Indian is paint, man. A lot of paint options when you're looking at a at a Harley. Uh, paint quality is gonna be a lot better as well. I feel like the paint on the Indian is very very thin. Gets scratched very easy. Um, it's just not enough options, man. Like, give the consumers more options. Um, customization, like I said before, you're going to get a lot more from the aftermarket with Harley compared to uh, Indian. Um, I just finished installing this uh, tour pack, chopped tour pack, last week. If you guys haven't seen that video, check that out. Um, but that's from, from Indian. Um, seat feels great on here. Um, I'm not going to compare it to my Lapera, which is an aftermarket, uh, but it, for a stock seat, this is, this is awesome. Feels great. Um, LEDs from factory. Um, you're also going to have LEDs from factory on the Road Glide. Obviously, not these. These are Baja lights. <laughs> uh, but yes, you are going to get LEDs on both, both bikes. Um, LED turn signals on here, which are integrated into the fairing. Um, Harley Davidson uses the uh, bullet points lights on these right here. I'm getting actually I'm actually getting rid of those. I'm getting the uh, custom dynamics little bullet light things. Clean that up and uh, have better lighting on there. Um, yeah, man, like it's they're they're both great options. Now we come to the part of the video where I need to decide which one I would buy today. Um, <clears throat> it's a tough choice. <laughs> In all honesty, and I will be honest with you guys, um, you are getting a lot more power on the Challenger. Better brakes, better suspension. Um, I'm I'm picking Harley. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm I'm picking the Harley just because, just because of the wide aftermarket that's out there. Just because of the options that I have when it comes to paint. Um, the options that I have with uh, dealer networks, the options that I have with, you know, m making this bike 
into something a lot more special more than what you can with that bike um yes does the challenger have more power yeah it does but i you know you, you, you do some engine work and i mean anybody who does who's into components and making the bikes look different um this is not going to care that that bike has more power because you could do some engine work on here and 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 build a monster of an engine um yes you can get it from factor on that and um that's a winning argument right there I won't argue with that one um but it's just the quality on here quality just everything feels good everything looks good everything's well put together the 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 feeling of riding a harley is like nothing else um and i'm not you know throwing any shade at at india i think indian has made a a, a great product if i was buying one bagger today one bagger if i was buying one bagger i would choose the road glide now i'm gonna give you a scenario if i had my low rider s still my harley davidson low rider s and i wanted to add a second bike to the stable i'd probably get the challenger because i want to have uh one of both if i already have it if i already have a harley davidson and i want a second bike i'm gonna get the challenger i'll tell you that 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 from the bat i could have a dyna i could have a soft tail i could have a row king if i'm gonna get a secondary bike that's not a harley if i'm gonna get a secondary bike if i already have a harley in my garage and i want a second bike it would be an indian challenger easily so i gave you those two scenarios right there you you tell me what you would uh what you would pick now like i was saying before if indian was able to offer everything that i mentioned before then they're they're going to be battling neck on neck there's a lot of harley davidson riders right now who are actually ditching their harleys to buy indians especially this bike right here i i, I know a good handful of people two handful of people that are, are doing it and are thinking about doing it right now um it's a great product it's it's an awesome bike it looks great is it trying to be like this in a way, yes. Was this bike made because of this bike? Yes. Is it trying to copy this bike? No, it's his, it's his own identity, it's his own thing. So that argument of Indian trying to be like Harley, like, I think what we have right now, we're, we're, we're living in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a golden age of, of these two companies, you know, going back and forth, trying to outshine the other. And um, I mean, the only people who are winning right now are the consumers us you and me because they're 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 giving us a lot more to choose from um and a lot more for for our hard-earned cash with that being said thank you for watching today's video let me know what you guys think about this video if i miss anything that you wanted to know just drop your thoughts your comments down below i'd be happy to answer them if you haven't seen the video that i did with the challenger comparing it to the new cvo it's uh, just watch the video you'll understand why i did that video um but that's that's a good comparison video as well uh what i want to do soon is to come is just have the three bikes all together the road glide the challenger and the brand new cpo all together and then i want to just do a little comparison of all three showing you guys exactly where what bike got from this bike and that bike got this from that bike and whatever so tune in for that and if you wanted to my channel make sure to subscribe if you want to see more content like this it's a lot more coming out guys um there's a lot of stuff changing on this bike as well on my personal bike right here guys i, I have tons of parts that we're going to be installing within the next two weeks already so the bike is going to be looking a lot different um sounding a lot different soon as well so tune in for those videos anyways like always let the horse be with you ride safe and enjoy the ride baby peace